happened to my daughter? What did she happen to my daughter? If anything should happen to Esther, if anything should happen to Esther. <laughs> She gets that poison in her system. <laughs> Ask him. He caused it. It's all his fault. All your fault. Hey, 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 shut up. Before you start accusing me of what I, I don't know anything about, she drank it herself. Uh, why would she drink the poison? She drank the poison because of the way he here, the father. And his family people treated her. Don't spread, nothing will happen to my daughter. You will bury me with her. You will bury me with my daughter. Wait, madam, calm down, please. This is a hospital environment, okay? I would like to understand what you're saying. Tell me what happened. Psychology here. Yeah? Psychology. No, not. Psychology. S E I Psychology. S E I K U. Please sit down. So tell me, class, who else can spell this? Okay, you want to try? Okay, spell it. Get up for her, please. Oh. This is psychology, okay? So the next one. Who can spell patriotic? My oh, in-law. Yeah. <laughs> my brother. I love it when you call me in-law. It makes my heart leap for joy. Chief, that is what you are. Yeah. You are my in-law. <laughs> and there's nothing anybody can do about it. That's good news. Yeah. Uh, I was on my way to your house to ask you how far about our discussion. But since you called me your in-law, I believe everything is concluded already. Ah, Chief. <laughs> I hold you in high esteem. Uh -huh. she, is, she is already your wife. Eh? Eh, don't don't mind uh, don't mind her and her mother. As soon as you're ready, let me know. I will bundle her to your house. This kind of discussion cannot be complete if we do not step it down with some coupe and wine. Enter the car. Let us go and. Uh, Chief, Chief, I want to spoil you. I will spoil you today. <laughs> Where are you going with my daughter? Um, huh? Papa, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Um, Papa, this is our lesson teacher. Yes, Will sir. you shut up? Did I ask you? <laughs> Can you imagine? So, you've been the one deceiving all these girls? <laughs> no, sir. Papa. Papa, you are embarrassing our teacher. Once again, I am embarrassing your teacher. Eh? Esther, you keep 
meandering with them until your cup is full. You know, I, I had to do what I just did. Mm -hmm. uh, if I didn't do it, that idiot will spoil something for us in this village. <laughs> Amadi, mm -hmm. there is problem. From what I just saw, there is serious problem. What problem? <laughs> you are here calling me in-law, in-law, in-law. In-law. <laughs> but the so-called wife acted like she didn't see me. Is that your problem? Is that it? No, that, that one shouldn't bother you. Chief, I am her father. I own her spirit, body and soul. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. okay. Why did your father have to do that? He, he's not that, that, that stupid old man that is deceiving him that he wants to marry me. Jesus Christ! Is that the man you were referring to? No. Please don't allow that to happen. That will be over my dead body. Will I leave my education? Oh, anyways, um, you don't have to sound like that. But I, I, I still don't understand why this village men would have to, because of greed, force their teenage daughters into early marriages. Teacher, that shouldn't bother you at all. Because as for me, I will never allow that to happen. Uh, uh, it's alright. Um, you, you guys can go back. You can go home and let me get back to the lodge. Right. Be careful. Go, 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 go. You see, why you wonder why people would take pride in giving out their teenage daughters for marriage in the name of tradition? Is this not greed or even the height of folly? Is that why you've been frowning your face since you got back from lesson? Fred, you are a copper. Please face what brought you here and leave people and their tradition alone. Oh, dare you get it wrong. Why are you sounding like this? I mean, what is the essence of this youth service thing? If it's not for us to go to a community, celebrate their good culture, and educate them on the negative ones. And what gives you the right to classify people's way of life, which they've heard sacred and happily for that matter for ages, as negative, Fred? Now you're sounding as if though you're in support of what is happening. How can people give out their teenage daughters at the age of 14, 12, and even 10? And you don't see anything wrong in that? Oh God. See, I think this is one of the things we should take serious in our CVS. We need to take this in seriously. Fred, leave this grammar you're just blowing here. Just leave it. If you come between people and their tradition, they are going to deal with you, Fred. Please, Fred. Come on, it's. I'm Let's... disappointed at you. That a lady like you would support this. I do not have appetite to eat anything. I have three Pepsi. Three Pepsi now. They sent you. Hey. Fred, please, I don't have time for your problem, yeah? Tell your daughter. <laughs> Tell her that she must marry chief. That is my decision. And it is final. Me, I'm not marrying anybody until I'm done with my education. May thunder scatter down your mouth. Amadi. Amadi, at least leave her to finish her secondary school. 
Amanda, this girl is just 14 years old. Though. She's too young to, 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 to give out for marriage. <laughs> and her mates not in their husband's houses. Are they not? Wait, so you are the person who has been deceiving her? Okay. No, no problem. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Are you going to marry? Are you going to marry? Ah! Ah! Are you? Ah! I have told you that my own daughter cannot be stronger than me. Mm -mm, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Whenever you are ready for the one kind, come, you perform it, you go home with your wife. <laughs> are you sure of what you're saying? I don't want your wife or your daughter to insult me. Mm -hmm. Chief, if any of them opens their mouth to say, Pem, I'll shut it for them for life. Eh? No. Don't shut the mouth of my wife for life. Ah, please, okay. Amadi. <laughs> uh, see. Take this money. Uh, <laughs> uh, use it to buy something for yourself. Thank you. And for her too. Hey, uh, Chief, this is money. <laughs> <laughs> when I get home now, I'm going to arrange with my kinsmen so that we know when to come. Uh, no problem. No problem. I will also talk to my kinsmen. That's eh? good. Uh, in law, in law. In law. <laughs> Chief, Chief. <laughs> this is money. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, in law, in law. Uh, Chief, Chief. <laughs> Are you sure this man is your biological father? Yes. Why do you ask? Because I don't see the reason why a man should do this to his own daughter simply because she refused to be married at the age of 14. <laughs> That's how people do. Is your mother in support of this? She's as helpless as I am. My opinion don't really matter. I need to see your father. I need to educate him on the danger of what he's about doing. No, no. You don't have to. He want me not to come close to you. I have to even sneak to come here. Let me just start going before he comes. Okay. Okay. I've been longing seriously to see you or your husband. Wow. I, I would have come to the house, but your daughter Esther wouldn't approve. Uh, is it because she no longer comes to lesson? Oh, well, yes. And, um, what else? Uh, 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 I'm gonna you some. Yeah, hold on. Um, yes, but I, far from that, I wanted to know why you and your husband would, would allow this idea of early marriage. Letting this teenage girl go to marriage at this age. Oh, that. Um, Tisha, thank you very much for your concern. But the truth remains that um, there is little anyone could do about it. It is a long age tradition in this village. Oh, please, Mama Esther. Is that tradition or greed of the beneficiaries? <laughs> Whatever you call it. No, I'm trying um, everything within my powers to make my husband see reasons. You know how it is. He has the final say. 
I must beg you, please do not allow this to happen. I mean, what does this little girl know about marriage? It's all right. Um, trying my best. Let's see how it goes. Thank you very much. Hmm? Information. To do it. Do what? Sell off our daughter for money you will finish on drinks and frivolities. Rebecca! Any more insult from you? Any more insult? No problem. I know what to do. What? Tomorrow, I'll ask Chief to come and perform the basic marriage rites and then take Esther home so that this madness will end. Nonsense. Is the reason I am here to educate people on the right thing to do. I cannot stand by and watch an innocent girl with a bright future forced into slavery in the name of marriage because of her father's greed. Fred, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, of course, there is. Yes, learn to mind your business, Fred. Learn to mind your business and stop meddling with people's with family issues. Don't you want to finish and pass out successfully? Fred! Now, listen, if doing the right thing will cost my NYC certificate, then I'm in for it. Really? Fred, really? Hello? Yes? What? When? Tomorrow! Oh, okay, now listen up, listen up, okay? Um, you just listen to me, okay? I'll figure out something, then I'll tell you what to do. Just relax. I'll call you myself. Who, who was that, Fred? And what was that about? It's none of your business, darling. Fred! 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 Fred, I've told you, mind your business. I Stay see. away from people's traditions. Fred, should let you be. Fred! You don't know what you're costing for yourself, Fred! <clears throat> What kind of stupid question is that? Both of you were in this house when I left. I came back, you stay here, and you're asking me. Sincerely, Esther is not in her room. And I didn't see her walk out of this house. <laughs> Rebecca! What kind of a rough play is that? Huh? I didn't see her. I don't know where she is. Esther! Esther! I am not in the mood for any kind of joke at all. I am not. Very soon now, my in-laws will arrive. And you're telling me this nonsense. 
If you know where you hid her, you had better go and bring her out. Bring her out before I, I, I do something stupid. I'm not finding this funny. Esther is not here. She's not here. Esther! You and this are in Lotin. I don't know where you, you have. You have sent my daughter. Shut up, you're bringing out! Esther! <laughs> don't play with me, oh! Said and relax yourself. When I'm back from the class, I will know my next line of action, okay? Just gonna relax. Fred! What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Can you? Hey, I can see you're losing it. I am not, and I will never be in support of this. Oh, don't you simply look away, gang? Fred! If any issue emanates, trust me, I will exonerate myself from this. Oh. And I will definitely tell them you're hiding out here. What's this? You would dare no such thing. Trust me, I will. I'm going back to the class. See you when I return. For the last time, where is my daughter? Sir, you have checked the class. Your daughter is not in the class. You think you're smart? Hmm? He thinks he's smart. I will teach you that this land belongs to a people. This land. It has its custodians. Let's go. I will touch you. Look at the thing.
two of you, sir, go to his house. I want you to turn the place upside down and inside out. Up and down! Exactly. Hey! Right. Hey! Go, let me check there. Turn the house upside down! Hey! Stop it up there! private lesson classes at the primary school compound right now. So if you are where he's there, so what are you doing here? Listen, madam, we are not looking for him. We are here because of the guy he kidnapped and he decided the house. That's where we are here, so just calm down. <laughs> Fred is a copper, not a kidnapper. Miss Sean, you there. That can only be proven if we can find the girl in question. I want to search the house. I can't do that. You are not police officers. And even if you were, you have, you have to show me your warrants. Listen to me. If you don't want us in peace, we'll use it by force. So just calm down. Just play calm. Hey, 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 come on, hey, come on. You don't want to listen. Play calm. Why you do that? Why your blood is hot? Play calm, you do like say you should be done. Why your blood is hot like this? Play calm, make check commas, the ginger. You won't rush me. You won't rush me, you didn't vibrate. You won't rush me, you won't chop me. How far you see him? There's no one in there. Did I tell you? Madam. Good day. Good day to you too. Madam, good day. Good day. Good day. She's playing smart. Come on, so let's go. Let's go. Towns. Can you imagine? Where is she? Oh, sir, we did not see her there, sir. Are you mad? How can you say you did not see her? Sir, we searched the room in and out. Up and down. We didn't see her, sir. Hi. Okay. So he thinks he's smart. I'll deal with him my own way. Come with me. Hey! Ho oh. right, ho! Oh. Hey! Come on, you can't leave. Not until who brought you comes back. But you don't understand. I know my father very well. He won't rest until he gets what he wants. He might come back here and I don't want each other to get into trouble. Your father will never find you. I will hide you where I hid you before. Trust me. I'm scared. Please let me go before he comes here. You don't have to. Maybe I'll come. What were you telling me on the phone? Oh. Esther, why are you crying? The two thugs came here. Jesus. And guess what? They said you kidnapped her. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, how did they know she was here? And how did they know he had the first place? This is not the time for grammar here. Please! You should be lucky I followed my instincts and hid her out of the compound. Hell, there will be trouble! Please! Let us look for a way to take this girl out of this place. Come on! Teacher, please let me stop going. No, like, no, 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 please. You, you, you don't have to leave. You know what? Uh, maybe I'll please take her back and hide away. You hid her before. I, I need to figure out something, okay? Please. <laughs> take her inside now. Please just go. <laughs> Young man, where is my daughter? Sir, you are harassing me. I must tell you the fact that you are harassing me. And I think it's high time I make this known to the appropriate authorities. Are you mad? How dare you talk when my boss is talking? Oh! <laughs> you, you, you slapped me? And I will do it again and again until you lay out of respect. Respect is a hypocrisy. Uh, Rezo. Boss, leave him alone. Young man. If you don't tell me where my daughter is, 
Your people will come here to carry your cups. With all due respect, sir, you were at the school and your daughter was not there. I was told that your boys went to my house to check for her as well. You're trying to prove tough, eh? You want to show us that you are tough? Hmm? Oh. Don't touch me! Don't, don't touch me! Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Don't this up of the law! Don't think up of the law! You can't keep treating me like this! You stop treating me like this! I am a nun! I am a proper judgeless! Attention! Put me down! You can't keep treating me like this! I am a copper under national assignment! You just leave me alone! Let me be! Just leave me alone! Just leave me! I said. Hey! 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 You don't want to tell me where my daughter is. I shook this. One year, but one year back. Thank you, sir. Papa, thank you, sir. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Your life will be in great danger if they see us together. So, what will you do now? I'll just look for a place to stay for the night. Maybe by tomorrow I'll come back. It's okay, please be careful, okay? Okay. Take care. Right, bye. Be careful, okay? Okay, I'll do. Promise, promise, promise. That is all you ever tell me. Yet nothing comes out of it. Do you know the kind of embarrassment I received before my kinsmen? I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You know, she is still a child. Oh! She's still a child? Is she the only child of her age that is married in this community? You know what? You are going to refund everything that I spent on you and the girl. If not, you're going to see the other side of me. I promise you. Chief. 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 Please. Please. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you know, your boys and I have been making efforts to, to find her. And I promise you, as soon as we find her, I will bundle her to this place with or without any ceremony. She's, she's, your, she's your wife. Uh, it's all right. I'm waiting. I'm waiting.
Fred. Eh? I warned you against these people. I told you to stay away from them. Now look, just look what you've done to yourself. What would you have had me do? Hand her over to them? You shouldn't have meddled with their affairs at all. Now look, just look at yourself. Please, I just need to be left alone. Please, I need a moment of silence. Please. Where could she have gone to now? Eh? Where? Just pray they don't find her. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, friend. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And I paid heavily for this. Let me please, have it. Please, I'm begging you. I've not done it before. Come please. What please. Are you? please, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Please, I'm begging you. Please. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Not ready. You are still sitting here crying. Listen, the earlier you realize that you are now a married woman, the better for you. Uh, if you're having pains down there, then go and buy medicine. Instead of sitting here and shedding tears. Meanwhile, why is food not ready? Am I not asking you? Come on, get up from there and prepare food for me. Rebecca, get out of my way before I would descend on you. Hmm. Amadi, I am going nowhere until you provide my daughter that you sold into slavery in the name of marriage. I'm not going anywhere. Are uh, Esther's age mates not in their husband's houses? Why is that all different? Why? Get out of my way. Amadi, you can do your worst. Do your worst. I am going nowhere. Have you ever asked how that your child is doing where she is? Have you ever asked? Nobody can go to see her. You can't see her. You don't know what is happening to her. I, I am not going anywhere. Anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Good man. Ah! Amadi! I'll, I'll kill you. Amadi! I'll kill you. Amadi! 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 Do your worst. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. You'll provide my daughter. <laughs> Esther, what are you doing there? Are you trying to tell me I'm not going to eat today? Why are you you're moving at me? Chief, you can see that I'm not feeling too well. 
Eh? Why, why not just try to help me? Huh? Will you get up from there before I descend on you? Even if you are pregnant and you have Jesus Christ, someone has had him before. I'm not strong. I'm not get up there, come on. If I lose my temper on you now. <coughs> Can you imagine? Let me get them before you. Are you still there? I've been longing to reach you since, but I could not, like... Is this... is this what they turned you into? Teacher, please, let's not talk about that. Um... My father seized my phone, so I lost your contact and I thought you've gone too. No, I... I, I actually, I've been around. The company retained me and they, they said the student needed me more. I said, I don't, I don't like the way you're looking. Have you been resting? I mean, have you been going to the hospital as well? Teacher, please stop it. I'm okay as can see and I'm even heading to the hospital. Um, I just need your contact again so that if I talk to Chief, I'll resume lesson and then... Oh, that wouldn't be a problem, okay? I... So, um, you just, um... You... What are you doing with that man? Um, Chief, this is my teacher and I just want to collect... Come on, get inside the car now. Get inside the vehicle. Good day, Chief. Hey, hey, keep your greetings to yourself. You've not finished what you're doing with all these young girls in this community. It is not married women. I beg your pardon. Tell sit and bend at your mouth that you are begging pardon. That's for you. I know what to do. Get into the car. Oh yeah, come down from this car right now. Chief, Chief, I was on my way to the hospital and you know it. Why did you bring me back here? Let's sit and punish you and that's your useless hospital lie. So this is what you do. You sneak to that your boyfriend you call lesson teacher and then you tell me that you have gone to the hospital. Get down! Chief, I don't, I don't like the way you are treating me in this house though. I'm not feeling fine. Please take me back to the hospital. I'm not feeling fine. Shut up, you liar. Get down. See, no more antenna for you in this house. That's what you used to deceive me. And then sneak to that your boyfriend's house. Get down now before I drag you out. Go down. Come on. Antenna. It's on Cuneta, you will do very soon. George, you are going to meet your boyfriend. You say you are going for a dinner. Hospital, my foot. Get out from the car. I want that thing to go. allowed Esther into that early marriage. Tisha, I fought. 
you know I fought. But my husband and his kinsmen overpowered me. I couldn't do much. So I just saw Esther, who is supposed to be in school battling with pregnancy on her way to Antinental. Mama Esther, I must tell you the fact she's not even looking good at all. I think she's suffering in that marriage. Really? My daughter is suffering. And they said I can't see my daughter. Tisha, I will have to go to my daughter today. I must see my daughter. This, this madness must stop. Whatever that wants to happen, let it happen. But I must see Esther today. Thank you very much for, for, for informing me. My daughter is suffering. And my husband cannot oh, allow me. You need to, to take it easy. Ma Mama Esther, you need to take it easy. Mama Esther, please take it easy, okay? Chief Chief, in law. Chief, your, your face is not bright at all. I hope everything is uh, fine. Amadi, everything will be fine if you can advise your daughter to stop following other men. I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? What don't you understand? You're not aware that your daughter has something to do with that boy she calls lesson teacher? This is unbelievable. You had better believe it. I caught them myself. Thank God you're back. Why are you thanking God? I'm going to see my daughter and know how she's doing. I'm going to Chief's house. Rebecca, why, why this kind of busybody? Why are you worried? Did, did your daughter complain to you? How can she complain? Eh? When you blocked every means of, 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 of communication, how can she complain? Somebody told me my daughter is, is, is suffering. And, and they are stopping me. I, don't stop me. I want to go and see my daughter and know how she's doing. Rebecca, you have started listening to gossip. Rebecca, you have started listening to gossip. Do you know how many times people gossiped about us to your parents? Eh? And now you have started listening to gossip. By the way, who told you that uh, our daughter is suffering? Who? Um, I saw. I saw that uh, that her lesson teacher. And he, and he told me. He told me he saw her and she's not looking good. She's not looking healthy. My daughter is suffering. I want to go and see her. Uh -uh. She's a what kind of law is this, this in this house? Somebody cannot see, 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 see know how the daughter is doing. What do you say, Isa? Listen, teacher. Hey! Hey! So, what she said is true. Amadi, what? What, what, what did she say? Whatever it is, I'm going to see my daughter. Would I you like it or not?
Woman, what are you doing in my house uninvited? And what kind of stupid question are you asking me? Eh, hey, Chief, look at what you have done to my daughter into. Chief, are you this cruel? Point of correction. It is your daughter who wants to ruin my life. Ask her what she has been doing with other men in my absence. Especially that idiot she called the lesson teacher. No wonder my business has started collapsing since I married her. Don't, 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 don't even dare. She don't dare. I know my daughter. She is well cautioned. If not for her stupid and greedy father, you wouldn't have ruined her teeth like you did. For your information, I'm leaving this house with my daughter. You lie. You lie, woman. You are not going to step out of this house with her until you have paid every single dime I spent on her. And for your information, next time you come to this house uninvited, you will not live here in one piece. I promise you that. Now get out of my house. Get out of my house before I count three. One! It's just cool. Two! Okay, wait for me. I'll just leave, I'll be fine. It's okay. Good. Chief, it will never be well with you. It will never be well with you, Chief. No problem. Did you find him? Boss, we did not saw him. I had another new set of cop and I live there. It's finishing seven. So, he's done with service and he stayed back because of my daughter? Uh, no, sir. We were told that the company where he served retained him. So, he's very much around. Mm. Mm. Did you go to the school? Yes, boss. We were told that he consulted a lesson on Saturday and on Sunday because of the work. Okay. Sit down, sit down. Would you like to drink something? Ah! Ah! No, ma, as usual, na, boss. Of course. As usual. Order. Uh, waiter! Ye mayam! Waiter! The boss! Mayam! Order. Are we there, now? Bring something, bring something. Nothing we could do for him. Doctor! No, 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 no! Doctor, no! It's not possible, Doctor! Doctor! 
that person you're talking about, the first class graduate doctor, the only son, doctor. No, please, stop us, Emu. Stop us, Emu. I'm sorry. He was dead on arrival. No, 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 Fred, can't be dead. Fred! and seriousness of the matter that brought me by this time. What is the matter? Um, welcome, Naka. When I was saying it, your wife made me look like one wicked person who was always castigating your daughter. Hey, Chief, please, leave my wife out of it. What is the matter? How can I leave her out of it? Were you not here when she greeted me with my name directly? Without respecting my chieftain's title. Anyway, I will address that some other time. The matter is that since your daughter put to bed, she has been urinating on the bed and everywhere in the house. If you go to my house now, it is smelling like what I cannot even explain. Chief, I don't understand. Is it everything you don't understand? Are you not an elder? Don't you know that a woman that is inflicted with that kind of disease is only a woman who goes around from bed to bed with other men? It is a disease inflicted by the gods. Urine disease. As we speak now, I brought her back. She's in the car. Go and carry your property. Hey! I don't even want the bride price. Keep it. As for the son, I will train the child because the test results show that it is mine. Chief, you can... Go and take your property. Chief, you can't... You can't... You can't do this now. That is it. Can a father be so irresponsible and callous? You pushed your daughter into an early marriage and now she has VVF? Eh? You treat her like a piece of rag to the extent where she attempted suicide. Ah, what is wrong with you? Which one is BBF? Which one is BBF? What is wrong with my daughter? Hey, which, which one is VVF? Vesico vaginal fistula. Hey! Is a condition that allows involuntary passage of urine from the vagina. And do you know what causes that? How would I know? Good. I will tell you. When a girl gets pregnant at a very tender age and puts to bed, a hole develops between the vagina and the bladder, which causes urine to pass through involuntarily. Hey! So you 
at the cost of your own daughter's predicament. Hey, mom. <laughs> Me ready to go to baby time. Change the apple to her. Me ready to go to baby time. Doctor, will she be okay? Pray that she survives. Hey. In the meantime, hey. I am going to ensure that you and those boys rot in prison hey. for the mother of that young lad. Let me get my phone. You are not going. My dear, the doctor said that you should not stress yourself. Hmm? Let's get one first. Oh? But I haven't seen him since. Esther, let's get home first. When we get home, you will see whoever you want to see. Talk to whoever you want to talk to. Okay? Let's go home first. Oh? Your father was arrested from the hospital. Wild chief boys were arrested. After some time, for the murder of your destination, so father came teacher. Husband told the people that I'm a prostitute, right? So it's time to prove him right. Hey! Mm -hmm. no, no, please, oh, my daughter. You are not what they called you. Mm -hmm. eh? You are not at all. You are my daughter. You are a good girl, and I know. Come, go inside. Mama. Don't even try to stop me, Mama. Because if you do, you will carry my corpse to the mortuary and not my body to the hospital this time around. Hey! She may have one more. I'm finished. Esther! This is not my daughter! This is not my daughter! Esther! Ah, ah, I'm only a woman! Esther! Esther! Ah. What are you doing here? Um, can't I come and visit my husband again? Besides, the sickness that has been causing the problem is cured now. Or do you perceive any smell? No. Good. Um, where is my son? He's with my sister. Um, okay. We'll talk about that later. But for now, just come with me. Come, come.
Ah! 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 Ah!